on Explorations This Time. How man is shaping his own future. This is Explorations, how man has become the master of evolution. Man survived and thrived because he learned to understand how the world around him works. He has classified his world and he has brought order to it. His most important area of study has been the natural world and trying to understand how it came to be as it is. That we know so much about the evolution of life is due to the pioneering work of one man. In 1859, English naturalist Charles Darwin published a book called The Origin of Species. Based on years of observations at home and on exploratory voyages abroad, Darwin speculated on how such a huge variety of species had originated on Earth. In Darwin's time, it was believed that each species had been created by God and that man was a creation separate from other animals. People knew that animals fall naturally into what we would now think of as evolutionary families. And they thought of them as trains of thought in the creator's mind. The, the, the creator's mind ran along certain lines and that's why he produced uh, mammals, and then, then having had the basic idea of a mammal, he would then produce the different kinds of mammal, primates and rodents and carnivores and things. So we're all on a kind of ladder, but it has also been called the great chain of being. The great chain of being had sort of God at the top and then angels and then man, and then the other animals were arranged in a kind of, of ladder. In his revolutionary theory, Darwin proposed that all species changed and evolved through a process that took hundreds of millions of years. During this long evolution, species would vary from generation to generation. Some of these variations would continue to exist and others would die out. Darwin called this theory natural selection or survival of the fittest. Darwinian natural selection is all about genes surviving better than other genes. The good ones that survive are the ones that build good bodies, bodies that are good at surviving. The cheetah has survived because it is one of the most successful hunters in its environment. The key to its success is speed. Traveling at a top speed of 70 miles an hour, the cheetah's anatomy is designed for quick, fast kills. Its ability to arch its spine up and curve it down allows it to lengthen its stride. Its hip and shoulder joints move through extraordinary angles, allowing it to turn quickly. Non-retractable claws allow it to grip the earth as if it were wearing a pair of running shoes. If this animal were a human sprinter, the record for the 100 metres would stand at just over six seconds. 